Chris has been driving for several years in the United States and now needs to pass a UK driving test. He has had a couple of lessons with Matt and has his real driving test soon. In this video, Matt will conduct a mock test with him and give feedback afterwards. Before we start, please consider subscribing to our channel as we have over 200 videos to help you improve your driving. It's completely free and really helps other people find us. Thanks. We tried to conduct mock tests in a similar way to a real driving test to make it as realistic as possible. On a real test, the examiner would check your driving license, test your eyesight, and then explain what will happen on the test. We'll join the test just before the first car safety question. Could you tell me, um, how would you switch your headlamps from dip to main beam, and how would you know they're on main beam from, in, within, from inside the car? Okay, so I would first on the stock change to dipped beams, Yep. and then I would push forward on the stock to to go to mains and there's a blue indicator on the dash. Good answer, very nice. Uh, all right then, so um, we can start the driving now. So like I said, just follow the road ahead unless you ask not to. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, all right, let's go. Are so happy? I'm happy, if you're happy, when you're ready, turn left, I'll direct you out the car park and then switch over to the sat nav. If you could take the next right turn just before the white van. Turn right, ah. then at the end of the road, turn right. Which is on top form today, that was good. It's not very good in the car park normally. So I should add in, at this giveaway line, we're going to go straight down the hill towards the new houses. From here on, the sat nav should be good. Turn right, then bear left. We're starting the test with the independent driving exercise, but it could be at any point of the test. Bear left, then at the end of the road, turn left. Turn left, then cross the roundabout, second exit. This junction has poor visibility, so it is wise to stop completely before crossing the giveaway line. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. Cross the roundabout, second exit. So ignore the Satnav's voice for the next junction. Um, if you, we need to go straight ahead, second exit. And there's a small white sign on the left to help you. the roundabout, third exit. Second. On a real driving test, the examiner will also correct any mistakes on the sat-nav. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. Cross the roundabout, second exit. Chris almost gets in the way of the silver car, but is going just fast enough to stay out of danger. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, fifth exit. 
the exit mark for Ipswich. Go right on the roundabout, fifth exit. This roundabout has the national speed limit so we must ensure we keep up with the flow of traffic. That's four. Yep. The next exit. Yep. On to the dual carriageway. Take the exit. After one mile, take the exit. Chris's speed here. On a clear road we would suggest staying within 10 miles per hour of the speed limit. After 800 yards, take the exit, then go right on the roundabout, third exit. Take the exit, then go right on the roundabout, third exit. Notice Chris has started to slow down before leaving the dual carriageway. This could obstruct following traffic. So right on the roundabout, third exit? Yes, please, yeah. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. The road markings show there are three lanes here. Normally, we should use the middle lane to turn right. Take the exit, then Cross the roundabout, second exit. Whenever there are two lanes going the same way, we should keep left unless overtaking or turning right. So this is straight ahead, second exit. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. Cross the roundabout, second exit. Good awareness from Chris here, but if we had been in the left lane, that probably wouldn't have happened. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. Go right on the roundabout, third exit.
you could pull up just behind the white car, okay. leave yourself just enough room to pull away. That's fine. Thanks. Okay. All right. Good, good. Uh, when you're ready, please drive on. Keep following the sat nav for now. Look out for the small blue signs. We have just entered a one-way road. When you get a chance, can you show me how you turn on your dipped headlamps, please? Sure. Thanks. After 200 yards, go straight on. Watch out for the 20 mile per hour speed limit signs. It's very easy to miss these and accidentally speed on the next wide road. Go straight on. Why do you think we should indicate here? After 200 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. After 700 yards, alternative route, one minute faster, 500 yards shorter. We'll be ignoring that. <laughs> Just right ahead here. Cross the roundabout, second exit. So ignore the green line, keep with the blue. After 300 yards, turn right. Turn right. Oh, that was the rain. It was. Okay. Sorry, that was strange. It's alright, we'll do it now. Uh, I'll just direct you. We'll turn right into a car park and come back from the other way. So I'll cancel the set now because we've just about finished After the route. Yards, turn right just here, turn please. Right, then Into there. Turn around when possible. Remember, there is no fault for a wrong turn 
as long as we drive safely. So we'll just turn around in the car park and go back the other way. Never been in here before though, so. So if we could turn left, I believe. Hoping to loop around. Yeah, let's follow him. It's tempting to rush in car parks, but they can have many hidden dangers, such as careless pedestrians or drivers reversing quickly. Take your time and stay safe. I didn't think there was room there. <laughs> so at the end, if we turn left, then we'll head back. Switch that off. Yeah, so I'll direct you normally for the rest of the test. We could take the next turning on the left. And then if you can pull up on the left at a safe place. All right, so as we said, that's the end of the independent section. I would have finished it here anyway, so that didn't really make much difference. Um, yeah, when you're ready, drive on. You could take the next right turn just before the shops coming up here. Okay, so we're here for the reverse bay parking manoeuvre. So there's plenty of spaces, you can use anywhere in the car park, you can choose. Uh, if you could reverse into a bay, finishing with your wheels inside the lines. Okay, thanks very much. If you could leave the car park and turn right there and there to continue back down that main road. Thanks.
Traffic's pretty light today, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's never really been heavy on the Mondays. No. It's market day Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't seem to make a lot of difference in fairness. Not really? Gets a bit busier in the afternoon, but otherwise it's pretty quiet. If we could take the next turning on the right, you can't really see it, but it's in the shadows there. Please. Every driving test route will have a mixture of roads and here we have reached a residential area. We need to consider the best speed to drive at for the current situation, so it's fine to drive slowly here. And then we need the next turning on the left, just there. At the end of this road, we need to turn right. And then left again, just after these bar cars. At the end of this road, turn right. When we do get to the end of the road, we need to turn left. Okay, after this light? Yeah. yeah. If we could stop on the left, just before the green lamppost. That's great, thanks. And then when you're ready, drive on again. Both, yeah. Originally water <laughs> until my phones were invented, yeah. yeah. It's already up there. You might as well use it. If we could take the next right turn at the crossroads. This road is quiet today, but there is often oncoming traffic, which can present a challenge to any driver. The key is to plan ahead 
and look for passing opportunities. Follow this road. Notice how slowly Chris needs to drive around this tight corner. This is wise, as the less we can see, the slower we should drive. So at the roundabout, if we could turn left, first exit. Then at the next roundabout, straight ahead, second exit. It's good etiquette to leave a gap for other traffic to cross the roundabout here. And then let's turn right back into the car park. So we'll go straight ahead this time up the middle. So to finish, if you could park on one of the bays in front of us against the wall, um, you don't have to finish within the lines even. I'll try to. <laughs> May as well. For, you know, good effort. So, uh, leave the car running, I think, okay. keep the aircon going. But well, that's the end of the test. Um, congratulations, you would have passed. Okay. On a real test. Um, how'd you go? How'd you feel? Yeah, I was fine. That weird, that roundabout where there was two straight lanes, but then immediately after the roundabout, it was a merge. Yes. Yeah. Um, let's talk about that. And it confused the other lady, didn't it? Yeah. So, um, we should really have been in the other lane. Okay. Because anywhere there's a choice of lanes, you yeah. should try and keep left. Okay. And then the other lanes for overtaking. I think I was already in the right lane, which is why I stayed. Yeah, but we should be in the left lane. And there was arrows on the ground that said both straight. Yes, but okay. whenever, it's a bit like being on the dual carriageway. Okay. Whenever you've got a choice of lanes, okay. always keep left. Okay. And then people can overtake on the other lane. Yeah, yeah. As we have just seen, Chris passed his mock test today as he only made a few minor faults. 
Completing the full test route today gives good experience of how a real driving test works. Let's hope his actual test goes as well as today did. Thanks very much to Chris for allowing us to film his driving today. And if you have your own mock test soon, good luck. If you found this video interesting, then please visit our channel as there are over 200 more tutorial videos to help you improve your driving. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Thanks for watching.